Hello folks, I'm Filler B and welcome back to Stellaris. This is a Recycle U Recycler's Union playthrough on the Toxoid DLC. We are in the near end of this playthrough because we're running out of things to do. We're just waiting for the crises to start, really. So with that in mind, let's pick a new trait. What would we be interested in getting? We can get the Colossus Project. You've learned the fevered dreams of terror and deterrence mate. A vision of the biggest ship carrying a weapon capable of devastating entire worlds. We could do that. We could do World Shaper. Gives us Gaia planets. I don't think we're going to do that. Force Projection. Defender of the Galaxy, maybe. Gives us Encrade. Damage to end game crisis factions and everyone's opinion is plus 20. That might be good. I don't know what that noise was. Uh, Galactic Contender, nah, nah. Uh, Master Builders might be good. It allows me to build mega structures more than one at a time. Galactic Wonders could be killed. Good. It allows me to build the Ring World, the Matter Decompressor, and the Dyson Sphere. And the Archaeology Project could be good. I don't want any of these other ones, really. Flesh is Weak and Mind Over Matter are the two other paths we didn't take. We could do Xeno Compatibility, but I'm not really. I'm not a xenophile, so I can't take that. So really is everything above here. Let's get master builders so we can build more than one thing at a time. And then we'll work on getting uh, Galactic Wonders and the Archaeological Project. Because I'd really like to see the Dyson Sphere and get that built. And maybe build an Archaeology. Let's get master builders. Now with master builders built, we can start a second... Uh, one of these. Let's build a sentry array in Cyberx, or uh, this place, and we'll build it around... Ooh, great questions. Great questions. What world do we want to build around? This little moon over here? Yeah. Let's build it around this fun little moon over here. I guess it's a planet. This is the moon. Yeah, this little barren world over here. And we'll get working on that. how long that's going to take. Looks like a while. Okay. Search complete. What do we build? Ripper Auto Cannons? Perfect. They're good for um, uh, Corvettes. You put them on there and you put the Ripper Con uh, Auto Cannons on, give them a bunch of afterburners so their evasion is really high and they're pretty good at uh, taking down ships. Wouldn't mind building that Dyson Sphere for that unlimited energy. But we have everything as positive across here. We've got lots of influence. We've got lots of unity coming in. We should probably build the art complex at some point. Oh, we need more volatile moats. Okay. Well, let's uh, go through our sectors. I'm sure some jobs are needed somewhere. Uh, you need jobs. Uh, let's build that. Then Scrapyard needs jobs. Uh, what should I build? If I upgrade this, it's more of those. Yeah, let's do that. Um, you need jobs. Sure, we'll build that. Research complete. What else? This world needs to upgrade. You need some jobs. Let's get you some. I need some whatchamacallers, moats. We'll build two moat plants there. Upgrade you. You need jobs? Let's make you into a uh, refinery world. Build two moats and one gas extraction. If I can figure out where the gas extraction is. Yeah, two gas extractions. That should deal with that. You can upgrade. You need a jobbo. Not sure what to do with you yet, so why don't we just upgrade uh, two of those? Uh, why don't we build a gas extraction as well, actually? 
those two upgrades use cost two, and so that will uh, offset that cost. Everybody else seems great. All right, that's settled. Every once in a while you gotta go through here and do all these. I could set it up so the governors do it themselves, but I think they kinda do a poor job. So we'll just leave it. Oh yeah, I didn't check what we can research. What did we research? Penal colonies, perfect. Maybe we'll set one of those up. Let's get the art installation. And let's think about penal colony. Maybe one of these new planets that pop up will make a penal colony. Sounds good to me. Let's wait for the uh, message. Colony established. Now you're a nice small planet. Sure, let's go decisions. And... Create penal colony. Penal colony modifier is given the following effects. Other empire colonies get negative 25% uh, deviancy. Crime plus 100%, immigration poll plus 33. Sounds good. How come I can't do this? Planet size needs to be greater than 15. Okay. So I can't do it on this planet. So let's make you a. Let me make you a pleasure planet. Resort world needs to also be 15. All right. So let's make you a. Uh, a um, unification center as well. Let's take a gene clinic here, and I'll set this as unification center. And we're ready to go. When we're ready to go. Gotta wait for a size 15, two size 15s, in fact, to come up. So annoying that this says. Time to increase. There's nothing here to do. It's just a bug in the game. Governor's trait, corrupt. Okay, where is this one? Is this is governor. Okay, I'll get to you. You're a governor, Jamil. Okay, I'll go through my governors in a second. Let's move you out of the way. And get that going. Did this right? I did not. This is a size 12. It's not big enough. All right. So let's build. Oh, I don't. I can't build here. Why do you have no city districts? Colony established. One more place to live out your Lives. Is it I need to do this stuff? Let's do that and find out. Building slots. Oh, interesting. Look at this. Look at this. These are all. This is a toxic planet, and these are all blockers for the toxic planet. So rotten soil is giving minus two building slots. Unplanted atmosphere is giving minus five habitability. Venomous insects is giving me negative one district, negative one building slot, and a happiness minus ten. Poisonous algae is giving me negative to food and less districts. Tainted snow caps are giving me negative districts and negative amenities. Noxious swamp is negative districts. Dangerous wildlife we already know. An active volcano we already know. That's interesting. Oh, we get fair tundra, max agricultural districts. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So where was that other planet we got? Yeah, this one. It probably has a bunch of features too that I need to get rid of. Let's do that. A little low on money, but I think that'll we can get them all done. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. So let's put these at the bottom. Uh, shift clicked. Every other paradox game, it's uh, um, alt click to put things at the bottom. For some reason, in Stellaris, it's shift click. And I want to make sure when these are done that this city district is the one getting built. Yeah. 
get those all done. Perfect. Uh, is this a new one? Is this the one I just did? No, this is a new one. So we'll go to features. We'll start getting rid of these as well. I don't think I can get rid of them all. Nope. One more. I can get rid of the noxious swamp here in a second. Yeah. Get rid of that as well. I just have the two more to do. Interesting, interesting. It's fun that you just take over this. Because I thought you just terraform the planet and be like, la la la, it's easy. But no, you have to take over the planet and you have to deal with all the, the problems with um, with um, all the toxic features that were still there, right? These are all these features here. That's a really cool addition. Make them not so easy to just ignore. I can do a thousand, even though I do have a thousand. Uh, which one is making this bad? Habitability, let's get rid of that one. Gateway constructed, excellent. Ring world restored, excellent. Uh, let's colonize that ring world piece. Please and thank you, and I'll do it with um, the Savannah people. Sounds good to me. Yeah, just have to remember to go back to these worlds and fix them. But for that, I gotta save up some money. Actually, I can probably get one more going here. Uh, let's get rid of the bugs, because nobody likes annoying bugs, right? Our, um, how far away are we from the tech to do mega art installations? Too far. So let's pick uh, in Cyberx here. Let's build another mega structure. Uh, what can you build? Build a science nexus down here. That might be good. Yeah, let's build that. Uh, we'll build it. Uh, actually, you can't build it here. Let's build it in this planet, maybe. Sure, let's build it here. It looks pretty cool. It's got a big star base around it. Another gateway constructed. Excellent. Another colony. Is this uh, another nasty world? It is another nasty world. Look at all this nast. Wow. We'll get rid of this habitability negative. You know what? Let's sell. I can sell 2,000 food because we're pretty good on food. And I can also sell a little bit of um, this stuff. Take me up to 21 and then we can go through those planets and really just knock everything out. Not that. This. Because I'm going to forget which planet has the stuff on it. So we'll just do this real quick. Get these all out of the way. Ooh, and they got two some fun features. So max generator districts, max agriculture districts, max mining districts, more generators, more mining. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else who needs this. Who else needs features taken away? Features. We'll do a big feature run here. More features. I know some of these are not my new toxic planets, but I might as well get them all done while I can. Get rid of the dangerous wildlife. I'll just sell a bit more stuff if I run out of uh, materials here. Bomb craters to get rid of, sinkholes and wildlife. Yeah, I gotta sell a bit more. Uh, sell. Sell that for 4,000. What else can I sell? 
You can sell a little bit of this, so let's do that. There, we got 18,000 again. Let's uh, pick another random planet to uh, to work off of. Uh, you don't have any features, and we'll just go around the, the list again. Uh, yeah, yours are already being done. Yours are being done. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. I have a lot of planets, so this might take a second to get through them all. Deep jungles. More jungles. Nobody likes radioactive wastelands. to do all this. Is this all done? Okay, this is one of the new toxic worlds. Excellent. What about you? You're all set up. Yep. Yeah. And you? No. Here we go. Two more. That's all done. Talk this toxic world has been fully taken care of. And here we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Still have 2,000 left. 11, I got them all. I did. Can I do this now? I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm just going to wait. I think, I think I got them all, right? Yeah. Perfect. Care if we're out of thing. Can I get rid of the Tianki thing? Not yet. I don't particularly want to kill the Tianki. I mean, I could. But I don't know why I would. Research complete. Neutronium armor, excellent. Uh, cruiser hull points is good. Anything else here I need? No, I'll grab the cruiser hall points. Upgrade our fleets. And uh, let's put in Comet Sighted. Oh, that's fun. Let's put in Titans in our fleet. So we go to the Fleet Manager, Add Fleet Design. Oh, I gotta design my Titan. Hold on. Ship Designer. It's Titan time, baby. I apologize for saying that. Titan, Titan, Titan. You really only get one slot each, so I don't know why it doesn't auto populate it. Right now we only have the Particle Beam, so that'll change. Now the Null Void again is really dumb, so let's not do that. Let's do uh, three of those and three of those. Let's grab some shields. Let's grab a little bit of crystal infused plating, some Neutromian armor. We'll grab the hull tissue repair shield capacitor and the shield capacitor and the one I like will be ship fire rate's pretty good or regen for the whole fleet it's also very good yeah let's do that that saves me having to go back in battle and I kind of make sense to the theme of this particular race that we would have hull regen. Let's go back here. So our ships are called the Scrapper, the Collector, the Disassembler, the Upcycler, and the Titan will be called the
scrapper, the collector, the disassembler, the upcycler, the recycler, Processor, the processor, the smelter, the smelter. Not like that. Auto upgrade, please. And save. We'll get rid of the defiler here. Nobody wants that. There we go. Now we go to our ship fleet management. We go to these fleets and we add fleet design. We add a Titan. Clan command limit not high enough. I thought Titans gave me plus 10. What do I have here? 40 and they take how much? 16. So I need to get rid of 6. Battleships take reason you have 11 battleships so I need six so that's that and let's uh, disband this one destroyer So let's uh, get rid of 16. So we'll get rid of you. And that was Elthanor. What are you at now? So you need four, which would be a cruiser. Get rid of one cruiser. you to stop upgrading. I want you to get rid of one cruiser, please. There we go. So we'll merge these together. So that gets you ready. You. I have 130, so I gotta get rid of six. Get rid of um, three destroyers. Now let's get rid of all these. Yeah. Okay, and let's collect all these ships at uh, what's one of our stations? Sukal's Mall. Yeah, we'll collect you here. And we'll collect you here. And where are you going? Okay, I want you to stop for the moment. Just stop. Don't do anything. So you're done and ready for your upgrade. You're done and ready for your upgrade. You uh, stop moving. I need six out of you. I can get rid of three destroyers, so let's do that. Right? You guys are say? It's so odd that it doesn't say here. Sure, we'll get one, two, three destroyers. I'd like you to go to Suket's Mall. Like 
like you to get rid of three destroyers as well. We have corvettes. All those are, yeah, corvettes. Let's just get rid of all your corvettes. Done. You can go to Sugetsma. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to wait for that to happen. Should take almost no time at all. So where are my other stations and where are my fleets? So... Acklin, Feral Star, so get some all Athenor. Okay. Althanor, can you go back to your home? Please? And you need a new leader? You return home? Thank you. You are getting upgraded. Uh, I'm gonna have you go back to Feral Star, please. You also have no... Admiral. the Hussars. That's correct. That makes more sense now. I'll try and get this set up so we get our things going. Is anybody moving still? Nobody I care about. I think everybody's here now. Let's merge you together. So these guys need a new name, so we'll do that. Pick a new planet in our system. Um, so we got the Trill Trawlers, the Fizgar Hussars, the Zempek Salvagers, the Elthanor Armada, planet do we have that's pretty big and important? How about this one? The rank rank should or the Farood. Let's do the Farood. I like that better. The Farood um uh, free company. Perfect. Okay. Now we can go to this. Now I won't get confused. And I want Elthanor. Add. Excuse me? What's the command limit? 16. Oh, I have to... Uh, do that. Titan, there we go. The Hussars. You're all good, except for I don't want any of this. Add Fleet Titan. The Trawlers. Add Fleet Titan. And the Zempek. Add Fleet Titan. Excellent. And then uh, we'll go to... Uh, this fleet can be... Disbanded. This fleet can be... Disbanded. The 
this fleet can be disbanded. Clean that up. There we go. Everybody here is good. Yep. And you guys, I just want to have a lot of Corvettes. I'll give you a few, uh, let's say five cruisers and five destroyers, but really I just want Corvettes. Just lots of Corvettes. There we go. So let's uh, reinforce on. We'll do that a few times. Gateway constructed. Excellent. Any more gateways under construction here? Just one more. Our colonists have reached their destination. How much does one Titan cost? So if I go to my fleet, let's see how much that costs. If I wanted to upgrade this, you're already at full strength. How is that possible? If I do uh, this, do I see Titan getting built? I do. Okay. What about the rest of you? Are you getting your Titan built? You are. Are you getting yours built? You are. Are you getting yours built? You are. And then the free company is getting a little bit built. I think we just got a planet colonized and I missed it. Let's take a quick look. Alright, well we definitely need some more of these guys, so let's do that. And uh, maybe one food. Uh, definitely need some more food, so we'll build that. You can upgrade. You are bad at minerals, so make you a food planet, maybe? Sure. You are... Just an arid agri world, okay. We'll do that. Anybody else need a little bump here? Colony is done and ready to go. gonna quickly go through here because I thought I saw a planet got completed. Now I don't remember where it is because I wasn't paying attention. Like a bad person. I'm working on that. Should be one with absolutely nothing going on. You're almost done. Oh goodness. No. No. Shouldn't try and dismiss these things so quickly when doing this. We are almost done, so let's take a look at you. Oh, you're a 14. I can't quite turn you into what I wanted to. Uh, you might be a good unification planet, actually. Sure, let's build that. We'll build uh, one civilian industry, two admin offices. Entertainment Forum, a couple of industrial districts. Well, I'll just have to wait and figure it out another time. Century away construction. Today we begin the end of our lack of knowledge here. So we needed a 1,000 to get this going. It costs 20 upkeep, that's no problem. Um, yeah, I'll just have to save up for that. Or it's 10,000, it's 10,000. Just gonna have to wait for that. Get all these ships built. 
Yeah, the sentry array is ready to be upgraded, but I just need the alloys, which I don't quite have yet. Let's take a look at the sentry array. Well, there's the platform. Sure. I don't care about anything else, though. There's the platform. It's pretty cool. This is our science ship, our uh, constructor ship, I believe. Yeah. Very cool. Colony okay. established. One more place to live out your pitiful lives. Got to build the sentry right here, though. All right, you're done. You got a lot of features that I need to uh, knock off because you're a toxic hellhole at the moment. We'll build a city district while we're at it, and uh, an entertainment place. Or uh, let's just build a gene clinic. That works. Research complete. That's done. What do we research here? Cruiser hall points. That's fun. Uh, ally processing. Ally nano plants. Yeah. Let's get this one going. I'm just going to ignore this, because I'm not blowing up the Yankee. If they want to blow them up, they can go for it, on their own. Uh, do you already have something going here? Looks like you do not. Uh, sure, we'll send something there. Maybe that was the message I completed. More gateways, more gateways. Perfect. Just want to get this century A done, and then we'll call it an episode. Ah, the Blade of the Huntress. Perfect. Yeah, that's all done. Let's see what that gave us. Uh, that's uh, here. Blade of the Huntress. Cost us 3,000. Our passive effect is that army morale is plus 25, our planet sensor range is plus 2, well that's really good, and the diplomatic weight is plus 10%. Not something we needed, but it's helpful. And if we activate it for 3000, we get Blade of the Hunter's modifier added for 10 years, which gives us sublight speed plus 25. Not that useful. The only thing really useful here is the diplomatic weight, maybe the sensor range, maybe army morale when you're attacking, but that doesn't seem all that uh, often. I would put this as like a C tier um, relic. The uh, Ether Drake Trophy, Monthly Unity plus 10 is really good. Uh, the other the effect is not. This is like a B tier for me. And uh, the CyberX Warforms are excellent. Um, but the 5,000, uh, the ever increasing amount of uh, activation cost versus the effect cost of getting some uh, minerals. Uh, I mean, it's a good way to sink some uh, allo uh, not alloys, minerals uh, for alloys, but uh, it's not that useful. So this I would call an A tier because the cyber war forms are so good, but other than that, it's not that useful. I think there's some out there that are real broken, like the one that gives you Gaian planets with pops. That one's really broken. I think that's the Baul um, Life Seed one. Uh, but this, uh, the, this one is not particularly good. This is the one that allows you to just find random new. Um, uh, exploitable minerals and resources on planets around your system. That one is also good. That's like the Surveyor or something like that. Oh, the, gate, now the last gateway is done. Our ally, we're at war. The Dalyeth Guardians declared war on our ally. Uh, let's see who they are. The Dalyeth Guardians. That's these guys. And you are a... Holy Guardian. Alright. Well, we can come take you out. With our fleets. No way for our fleets to get built a little bit here, though. At least until we get a Titan. And we need better Titan tech. Ally entered war. War declaration. Yeah, that's fine. Archaeological site finished. We don't care about foreign claims on our systems. These people don't really scare us, even though they're equivalent to us. We're still pretty powerful. 
Uh, let's just see about buying some of this. There we go, there's our 10,000. And let's get the Sentry Array going. Perfect. So that takes us to the end of the episode. Hope you've enjoyed the series. We've got our Sentry Array up. We're now in a war, and we'll see where that goes. See you in the next episode, and have a wonderful day.